I got, I got, I got, I need your take on this. Yeah. So when I was in that lake, uh, I got, I had some money on me and the money got wet. Right. So I had wet uh-huh. money. Right, right. Now we went to a restaurant and I went to tip the guy at the restaurant. Yeah. And I had wet money. Right. So yeah. I, I gave him a 20. And I told him why the money was wet. My question to you is if you're handing out wet money, yeah, do you yeah. have to do you have to tell the person why it's wet? You know, I, I, I think you probably do, but I think being in a lake situation like that, he might get wet money here and there, you know, a little more like, you know, if if you're in Manhattan and you're coming out of a restaurant, you tip the doorman a wet twenty. It's, what the fuck is this guy? It's a little more. Yeah, well, no, this palpable. is away from the lake. This is away from the lake. Away this from is the later lake. on that day. So we're not. We're inland now. How did he? We're going and, to, and, and did he I, have I, to just I, grab it? Did you hold it by the corner? Like I said, listen, the money's wet because it really it, it rained. That's why it rained on the bag with the money was in. I said it was rain. I was at the lake. It's it's lake wetness. That's what this right. is, right? right. Yeah. I feel like you have to identify the wetness Absolutely. before you give him the money. You can't, you know, if you if you said, "Listen, I I pissed on this," you, you'd have to tell yeah. him. Well, that. I mean, yeah. you'd have to tell yeah. him why the, why the damn thing's wet. You can't be <laughs> handing out wet wet dollars, you know. Well, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like it was in my sock. I just finished playing tennis. <laughs> I didn't expect I didn't expect to go out for a drink. So, uh, you know. If you want it, it's yours, but uh, that's sweat, guy. That's man's sweat right there. Well, well, you know, you, you, you bring And that's why you're telling that, him what the wet is, so he doesn't think that's what it is. Yeah, but the wet sock money vibe, Yeah, I feel like that was prevalent in the 80s. Oh, I, yeah. I remember having money in my sock, playing a sport, taking down the sock, and the money stuck to my leg. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, God, it was the fucking wallet, man. The sock wallet. Absolutely. <laughs> Bro, and, and I had no problem peeling that money right off my sweaty leg in front of the person I was about to pay for something. Right, right, right in front of the ice cream man. I'm like, I'll take a fucking Sunday. <laughs> you know? And he didn't wear gloves or nothing, man. We didn't worry about that shit back then. I don't think the kids of today ever had the feeling of money in their sock. Like, has Sadie ever put money in her sock? Well, she puts it in her wallet. She's got this wallet she loves, which she left in a restaurant twice. But uh, so I I want her to understand the importance of cash for sure. But, you know, young kids now, they don't, they like teenagers and stuff. It's it's like, have you used your credit card lately? I go to put it in the slot, and they look at me like I'm a dinosaur. They're like, hey, just a little, da, da, a little tap. Habu. Habu. Remember when we grew up, they'd hold up your signature in this one and go back and forth. <laughs> None of that shit. They're making so much money. They're like, whatever. It's, they're, they're, you know, you call your credit card. You're like, I didn't do that. They're like, all right, no problem. Sorry, no problem. <laughs> Yeah. We could dispute a six thousand dollar charge to wipe it right off the oh, the, the tab. Yeah, they barely have time to take the call. They're just counting money all over the fucking place. <laughs> yeah. 